on this episode of Free Game. I'm gonna take you guys with me shoe shopping. We're about to go find some running shoes. It's kind of exciting. I don't really want to spend any money, but my legs are calling for it. They're in pain. So you guys stay tuned in. If you want to see how I do running shoes, how I choose my running shoes, how I go about the process of choosing my running shoes, and typically for a very affordable price. So you guys stay tuned into today's episode of Free Game. If you want to see how I choose and pick the shoes I use for running. Popular brands of shoes called running shoes, I guess, but they're not really running shoes at all. They're casual shoes that are like in a a sport fashion. They're kind of like a Mazda or something like that. You know what I mean? Like it looks like you should go really fast, but it's really just a fancy looking like Camry or something like that, or like old Camry. New Camrys actually go kind of fast, but. I say all that to say, today I'm going to go get some new running shoes. I need some bad. I've probably put about a little bit over 200 miles in the ones I have right now. At 300, I consider them trash, so I kind of start cycling in another pair of shoes when my last ones get worn out, or especially the way I can tell is that my legs start to feel weird. And I'm not a new runner, so my legs shouldn't feel weird or hurt in certain different ways. If my shoes are supporting me right and I'm running with like the correct form, stride, length, breathing, all that stuff. But I have enough of that stuff reinforced to where if certain parts of my legs start hurting, like right now my calf feels strained, stuff like that, and it feels like there's pressure points in my feet, I go get some new shoes because it's not worth me getting hurt long term to not go pay another however much I'm about to pay for these new shoes. I personally usually go to like outlets, like Nike outlets, Adidas outlet, Reebok outlet, something like that. My last couple pair have been Nikes because at the outlet they had the type of running, actual running shoes I'm talking about with stiff soles that have that provide comfort. And I would try to give examples of what I find later. What they have is running shoes, which are not truly running shoes. They're not actually running shoes there are some shoes that are actually made that you would actually see runners training in and there are shoes that people should just wear to the mall or just wear to walk around and barely that if your knees are as bad as mine i'll catch up to y'all when i get to the outlet so i'm at this nike clearance store Let's see what they got. The downside is when you drive this far, I just drove about 40 minutes. When you drive this far, you feel compelled to have to buy something. So hopefully that compulsion doesn't come over me today. As I go through the aisles, I look at shoes and I really just bend the soles and twist them a little bit. I'm in no way saying mess the shoes up at all but I see whether the sole is extremely flexible or whether the sole um, is stiff enough to support my feet. So I feel like my calves, my Achilles, my knees, everything is supported well because it's all interconnected. So essentially I go aisle to aisle, I look at the price, I look at the shoes, and I just make sure that they're up to the quality that I want that'll last me a good, hopefully, three to four months of running. So it was a successful trip. I'm waiting till I get in the car to show you guys what I got. I really got the exact same like Nike Zooms, I think they're called. One sec, actually no, they're not Nike Zooms. Yeah, Nike Zoom flies. That's what I've been running in recently. And really, today I got tired of looking. So the first thing I personally look at is the price tag. I am not a rich man yet. <laughs> So I try to find the shoes that best suit my price range first. And then I try to get a list or like kind of just a cool list in my head of shoes that I like that are in the price range that I'm willing to spend. That way I don't mess up and spend more money 
that I intend, intend to. So this is what this generation running shoe looks like. And for me also, a big factor is the upper. Because I run barefoot, my shoes tend to get more wet and it's just difficult to keep them maintained and stuff like that. So when I get like those thick, really like fabric heavy shoes, it holds in sweat or it holds in stuff because I run in the rain. It'll hold in water from that and I'll struggle with keeping my shoes maintained and be able to run in them on a daily basis or at least five days a week when it's like that. So I went with the Nike Lab Zoom Fly SP. That's what this generation running shoe is. I might give you guys a review after I get a couple of runs in. I'm really excited to run in them. I like new shoes, better support, and just something new. I really appreciate you guys tuning into this episode of Free Game. Comment any questions below that you have about shoe choices and how to choose shoes and things like that. Because it's difficult. It really isn't easy. And I hope I gave you guys some good examples of the shoes that I don't like or the shoes that physical therapists have told me not to use so you guys can, I don't know, use that information while you choose your shoes. Have a great day, guys. It's been free game. Yo!